what's up y'all it's your girl made it with favors and i'm back with another video so as you guys saw by the title this is basically just like a canva rundown video too often i see people looking for help when it comes to canva and i just wanted to make this video because maybe it can help someone and as usual i tell you guys to share this with your sister brother cousin auntie uncle because somebody may need this go ahead and like and subscribe to your girl channel go ahead and drop some comments below so we can interact with each other and let's get into the video so when you get on canva canva.com this is the back office of canva okay so let's let's get into it y'all <laughs> so on my left side which maybe you guys right but right now it's my left um my account is named made it with favors of course i use canva a lot for my business um Unfortunately, this video will not show you guys how to make anything. This is just a tutorial, informational tutorial showing you guys the ins and out, the small basics of Canva, okay? So, over here, it shows that I am a pro. Now, I highly recommend paying the $14.99 to be a pro um, member only because, well, I Canva a lot, okay? I run to Canva for every, every, everything. So, paying the $14.99 a month, it really, like, pays itself off. Um, and once we get to the canvas, I'll show you guys the different things you can and can't do if you aren't a part of that subscription. Next to it, it shows, like, a 1 out of 5. It's just showing that I only have one account linked to my Made It With Favors team, okay? So, now, that's just one account. Now, let me simplify that for you. I am logged in on my Canva from my laptop, my desktop computer, my iPad, my content phone, and my regular phone. Five different devices. But I am logged in through my regular login. So that is not included with your team number. I'm still just me, only me using my Canva, okay? So that's why I say it's one out of five. All right. Um, underneath that, it says Magic Studio. Once you click Magic Studio, it brings up different things um, to help you better design in Canva. Um, you guys definitely can go through that on your own. Underneath that is every project that you have done in Canva. That's where you'll find there. But also, if you were to scroll down, you will find all of those there as well. Underneath is templates. Canva has thousands and thousands of templates that you guys can use um, to play around with, to get a feel of things, and that's basically where you will find it at. Brand. Brand is everything related to your brand. Fonts, colors, that's where you would do it at. So, um, also going into that brand link, and like I said, everything that's related to your brand is there. Um, you also can upload fonts. From like the font and creative fabrica on that tab but in another video i'll ask I, i'm sorry y'all i'll i will link um the video i did about uploading um fonts into canva um it's two ways to do it and i'll show you guys um i definitely link that to this video okay this way you invite other people if your team is more than you that's creating you will invite them, and for this $14.99 a month, you only get five people that can join your team. Now, I know it's people that charge people like X amount of dollars, and y'all jump on, and I ain't doing that, okay? I don't trust it. <laughs> I ain't doing it, okay? So, back to the different designs that you can do on Canva. Um, They do have different things that you can explore. You can always find it up here. Um... Or you can go to create a design on your own. Once you create create a design on your own, they do have different templates. I always aim to create a regular 11 by 8.5 inches. It all depends on what I'm doing. But at the same time, regular copy paper is this size um, landscape mode. So I kind of, I mean, I'm sorry, landscape style. So I kind of just go ahead and stick with that. So once you create your design, you get to what you want to do. Let me close this because you can't hide that. 
Um, this is how your blank canvas will look. Up here, I'm going to type in Canva. Ooh. Training. Okay. So, one thing about Canva, everything that you do, it is automatically saved. So, when we just put in Canva training, it have automatically saved. And if anything was to happen, I missed to press the exit button or whatever, my design is safe, okay? So, that is that. You have the undo button. Any mistake you make on here, like, let's just put something on here. You can easily undo that, okay? Magic switch. It def it gives you um the option. Say if you're writing a book, um, a document or whatever you want if you're writing it in english you can translate the whole document to spanish yes you can do that you could just translate your whole design into another language like what and these are only pro um perks you can't do that with the regular just free canva um also say if you had like a powerpoint or something you can transform it into a document um like a book or something like that and you know digital digital <laughs> digital products is selling like hotcakes everybody want it on their phone instead of in the mail so if you had a presentation that you want to transform into a document hmm pdf will be your friend and transform into a doc will be too they do have something where um they will summarize it and make it sound more expertise level and stuff like that you just have to play around with this. Um, you also can resize your whole canvas. Like, say if you're making four by six um, prints, you can resize that whole thing. Right on it to resize, um, custom size, you can resize that whole thing. You can resize it, whatever you want. So, Canva is really, like, dope. Um, a dope program. Sorry. File. Just basically tell you the name, who made it. You can create a new design. Design. You can import files. Um, the language. My language is in English, of course. But if you aren't, um, if you have two languages, you definitely can go ahead and put your other language in whatever one you speak more fluently in. And it's just basically like um, you can make a copy of this and it'll open up in another canvas. You can save it to a certain folder. Download. You can download here or on the share, okay? So, I always use the share, though. I don't go to file. And, of course, you can go back home. And this little menu, just different um, things that you can either go back home, what will share with you, your projects, or your research projects you can do. Okay, I hope I'm not going too fast for you guys. I'm just trying to get the basics in because Canva is a little tricky, but it is like one of those beginner friendly apps that is very useful to start on. Like I had Photoshop for like two days and I took it off my computer one because it holds a lot of space. You really have to have like a big, big, big gigabyte um, memory or something memory disk something to hold photoshop on and then too it was just too confusing i'm gonna learn it one day when i learn it i'll come back and show y'all how to do it but right now i'm sticking with kim <laughs> all right let's get back into it so to my left um you have design canva have so many different designs you can try out like let's try valentine's day flyers all these flyers you can remake and make it as more fancier or simpler or whatever what helps you in your brand you definitely can do that over here and you don't always have to use their templates but it is nice to use their templates like it's already done for you but um i know a lot of people do do it and i'm not gonna lie sometimes i do go in and i find some of their templates and i kind of tweak it up as of my own it's just convenient. Right. Styles. Like I said, that brand kit is something that they always like like for you to relate back to. I don't 
do grandkid on here. Like, I really don't. But it's there. It's there. Knowing that because my logo is like colorful. So I don't have like no specifics. So I'm not one to have like a pink, black, and white um logo type of thing, you know. So I don't really I I, I use it when I need to use, okay? Elements. Anything that you need to add to your design, you would do it here on Elements. So here I went, I went and typed in hearts. And one thing about it, whatever you type in, it's going to give you the graphic of it. Sometimes the shape, in this case, it gave us the shapes because I said hearts. The graphic, an actual photo, and let me show you the difference. This is the graphic. This is how actual photo will look. So they kind of have a little bit, like the graphics can be more animated where the photos are more like realistic. Um, And if you see at the bottom, it says row. Let me see if I can find any non -stick. Okay, so this is a free, a free, um, option here, which is not a bad design at all, but you see, you get this that's more mm, to it. I mean, you can use both of them, but this one is free. I mean, the second ribbon one is part of the pro. Now, what the difference is, is if you do not have pro they will let you add the pro design to your canvas, but it'll be like a Canva watermark. And then in order for you to download that, um, it will tell you to pay the $14.99. Okay, delete these. <clears throat> um, also on the Elements Home, you have your AI generator. Now, I never use the AI generator on Canva. I kind of outsource to um being a being image generator and if you guys want a quick video on how I use that I definitely drop one of those um so you guys could see but they do have AI image generator and I'm not sure if it's only for um pro or not I'm not sure about that they have different stickers that you can add to your design, actual photos, videos, like say if you was pre presenting something, if you was in school or I don't know, presenting something, you can add videos to your design, um, audio, of course, charts, tables, frames. I love frames because when y'all see the, the girlies doing like, the computer screen and the iPad screen and stuff like that. This is definitely what they're doing. And I do want to show you guys how to use those. So I'm going to open this up more. And I am going to go to my upload. And I'm just going to pull this picture up. And you just hover it over. And voila. It's so simple like that. I love the frames on here. Okay. So. Um. What else they have? Different pet. These are all just like frames. These are all frames. All very useful. Okay. So that's basically the elements. Um, I do want to show you guys like the backstory of, like, not the backstory, but I do want to show you guys like what happens when you have a design on your canvas. Okay. So we're gonna start off with edit photo. Now edit photo. Y'all, this is like a holy grail over here. One, you can remove the background. As you can see, this little crown is pro. So the only thing out of these six essentials that's not pro is the magic edit. But anything else over there, that's a pro item, okay? So you can remove the background. Magic eraser is you can just hover over something and erase it. And it is sometimes you have to go over it like more than once. But... But for the most part, I'm sorry. For the most part, it will erase it. Um, magic expand, it basically just make it bigger. Um, oh, so because this is a frame, I can't expand it. But how about we delete this? 
delete the frame, upload it again, and I'm going to let you guys see. It didn't do nothing. Oh, there we go. It did put the line up on there, y'all. <laughs> so, I think it did. I ain't even been <laughs> paying attention. All right, so then you have the magic edit. Um, magic edit is basically you will go in, brush over something you don't want, and then describe something that you do want. So, say if I want to delete one of these cherry, I mean, delete one of these lemons and add a cherry. It would do that. It would show me different options that will work. Okay. Remember that when you don't you don't need to save it. Magic grab. It will go um, analyze what is able to disconnect from the background, and you're able to grab it. That's the same as text. If I had text on this, um, it would analyze the text, and you're able to grab it from the background. Here are like filters and stuff. Um, shadows, I love shadows, like, it just bring out a different, like, it's not even a single picture for me to even say, like, look at this stuff. <laughs> um, they have glow and stuff like that. You see how I just took that little, it gave it some oomph, I ain't gonna lie, it did give it some oomph. So, I don't know what it did to that. Let me take that off because I want to keep everything simple for you guys. All right, there we go. Auto focus. If you was to put up something blurry, it'll just make it clear. Blur, it'll make it something clear, blurry. Duo tone. Duo tone is basically Canva's Photoshop. We could change it different colors. Um, and if that color just don't suit what you need, you could change the highlights and the shadows and the intensity of it for you to get what you need. Canva does have their own mock-ups. Um, they do have like t-shirt mock-ups, um, mugs, stuff like that. I have used a few of their t-shirt mock-ups before and it comes in handy. Okay. Adjust. It's just telling you how, I mean, how you want to adjust your picture. And then crop is basically like that one feature that we have already used. Um, Next to edit photo, you can flip these designs whatever way you want. And I'm scared. You can add a border. You can animate any design to come slide in. Once you animate it, it automatically transforms to like a MP4. Um, at the same time, this is another animated one. At the same time, um, if you're like a YouTuber, sometimes YouTubers use Canva as their um, like the intros and stuff. You can do it like. position if i had something else on here i would have been able to move something to the front or to the back um top left look left that center that's all that really is there ain't nothing do you and then transparent is here is here again all right text you always gonna see that brand kit <laughs> you always gonna see the brand kit um, and this is also another way you can add your brand fonts. Like I said, I will be putting that video in here on how I did it before. So you guys can have that. Um, they do have little font combinations and stuff. Uh, let's add a box and just see how it looks random. All right. So these are your different fonts. And I do like that they have in different type of categories because Sometimes you don't got time to go through all of those. So they do have it in categories where you can kind of find what you're looking for. Um, 
over here is like the size color if that was able to go in bold or italicized you can do that you can center it bullet point it this is spacing letter spacing and line spacing effects effects is one of those things that i like a lot I love effects, y'all. One of my favorite effects, hold on, I want to get this to show you guys. Okay. One of my favorite effects are lift, is the lift. You can intensify it as much as you want. Um, shadow is a good one. Um, they all are pretty much good. Um, you got the hollow. Hello is good when you're making like um, coloring books. You can have it more thicker and it's easier to like color inside of those hollow lines. Slice. Slice is just like hollow but with a lift and slice also. <coughs> it's two-tone. Outline is another two-tone. Um, and then you have these. These I don't use much often. Sometimes I use the neon and then of course I'm not using the background not often okay letter um text can be animated in the same as the position and transparency you can do that as well um set your brand up uploads you can upload different pictures uh videos you can record yourself you can upload different songs you can do a whole edit off the of canva alone draw something that i don't use that often but you can draw on here yes nice and beautiful <laughs> um your project to show you what you have done so far and that is pretty much it like the rundown oh i do want to go show you guys the shell um brand template um these are Whoever is in your team, you can send this to them. And they'll... Ooh, sorry, y'all. You can send the template to them and they can use it type of thing. Um, you can present it as a presentation. Template link. If you're in... I'm going to drop this another gym, y'all. If you're interested in selling digital products like on Etsy and stuff like that, you will design it. Um, one thing about it when you design it, let your customer know that they may need to have Canva Pro to operate some of the elements on it. Um, but if you did it like all with nothing with Canva Pro, then they should be cool. Uh, but you will do that link. I don't have nothing on here, but it would give you a link and... You always want to do the template link. That way they will get a copy of what you make of what you made. Um, because public view link would just be them showing like you showing them. They can't do no editing from it. <coughs> Again, here's the download. Um, I always down depending on what it is, I'll download like a PNG and stuff like that. But if I'm printing straight, like my all my party favor bags and stuff, if I'm printing it straight from Canva, I always do. Hold on, y'all. Let me add something on here because it's like, girl, if you don't add, we ain't even gonna do it. <laughs> I'm just about to show y'all. So PNG. But if I wanted to print this as a coloring page and I just want to print it directly from Canva, you would do a PDF print. And that's not very good. Transparent. I can do this. Um, and it'll come out transparent. I won't have this big white box behind it. And yeah, that is basically all the basics of Canva. Canva is really not that hard, y'all. Like I said, it's one of the easier design softwares. I suggest all beginners start on Canva. If you're not interested in paying that four ten nine nine yet, it's fine. You still can get around it. You just have to do a little extra work. All right. So thank y'all for watching my video. I hope y'all enjoyed all this information I did provide in this video. And yeah, I'll catch y'all next time. Bye, y'all.